back at the lot today to create a sketch of how the house is going to sit on the land. And I need to dig some holes, cut some sections, stack the wall here in front as high as I think it's going to go, and then pull some strings, and then we can kind of see if this is going to work, at least what's in my brain is going to work in real terms when I get to it. So that wall is stacked to about three feet tall. Not looking for a level lot up across this, but less of a slope. So it doesn't make it feel like the house is sitting quite so high off the land. Uh, the train. This reminds me of my grandparents' house. I'm gonna walk up the slope here. I've got an 18 inch hole dug in the top. At least the ideal cut I'd wanna do here at the back of the house. I'm gonna put a stake in here and then pull a string down to the front corner. I got my lines pulled here and I'll give you a quick look at them. And I'll do a little visualization on how I think the house is gonna look on the site. That's so Courtney can really get a sense for what I can see in my head and that she needs to see on paper. My three foot retaining wall will extend across the lot like this with stairs through it. A lower retaining wall will cross the front and slate paths will connect the stairs and parking pad. From the front, this dead tree will be removed the retaining walls will connect, and the slate path will continue to the front steps of the house, which will be painted gray. Thanks for watching. Please like and share, and subscribe for new videos weekly. The Green Shorts Greenhouse, uncovering what makes a greenhouse green.